garden massage? Mm -hmm. So yeah, so uh, for us, uh, we do all types of massages. So of course, prenatal massages, we are open seven days a week, so you can schedule massages online, just calling the motherhood center. Uh, so we do prenatal massages, we do, uh, we call it postpartum, we really call it new mommy massage, uh, but it's a basically a postpartum massage. Uh, we do Swedish, hot stone, deep tissue, um, so all, all of that we are massaging not only expecting mommies, uh, but also daddies, grandmas. Uh, um, I don't think we had a grandpa here, but we definitely have a lot of daddies. Um, and we do have a daddy special this month. Uh, you have uh, your uh, Father's Day coming up, so um, happy Father's Day uh, for the expecting daddies here. Um, so we do have massage therapists which can definitely get you in a better mood. Because <laughs> daddies have hormones too. I have a postpartum breastfeeding question. I went to a ton of classes and prenatal massage here, so I'm not pregnant now, but <laughs> I've spent a lot of time at the motherhood center. Um, so I'm 12 weeks postpartum and I produce plenty of milk. I am one of the lucky ones, my infant sleeps through the night. But I can't because I fill up and I have to get up in the middle of, night, middle of the night to pump. Is there any way around that? So I can get more than three hours of sleep. Because she's fine. <laughs> she's getting eight, nine, ten hours. But I'm not. Um, so depending on how long you can go in between, right? Mm -hmm. If you can space it out a bit to where maybe you can only pump just a little bit to comfort, and kind of get your body kind of used to it. Yeah. But the potential risk is that some women are going to have to get up and pump in the middle of the night when that baby starts sleeping eight, ten hours mm -hmm. because their supply may drop. So some women are lucky and they have bigger storage capacity so they can go longer in between, and some women are not, and they're going to have to, you know. So what you're longer. saying, like, when it wakes me up at 2 a.m., just get up and do it. Kind of. Get over <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like I said, you can try to just pump to comfort and see, but you really want to watch your supply. If you, you know, if you're used to getting up several times at night, yeah, yeah, okay. be sure it doesn't really drop. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.